Hello there, and welcome to video 009 of CS Watch, and we're looking at ethical considerations of computing. As you can guess on this slide here, we're looking at what we're looking at, what we're looking at today. We are looking at ethical considerations of computing. So we've got here uh, four different bullet points and one major bullet point at the top. Ethics refers to what is right and what is wrong, whether what you're going to do is something which is right or if it's wrong. And again, that can purely be subjective and based on your personal uh, opinion of what is right and what is wrong. And we've got four different uh, bullet points here, four different ideas. And these are different areas which you can go away and research and think about yourselves. But we've got different things here. So for example, journalists gathering data. If we think about websites such as WikiLeaks, which sole job is to be able to leak confidential information, journalists use that as a source a lot. But before the information gets leaked, they've got the ethical decision to make of if it's right to be leaking information or if it's wrong to be leaking information. If we're thinking about privacy issues, for example, surrounding celebrities or the royal family, they deserve to be able to have a private life as much as any other citizen of the United Kingdom or whichever country they're from. But then similarly, people want to know what's happening in their lives. They want to be able to know what's going on. So again, we've got the ethical situations around that point of view. If we think about social networking issues, the ethical considerations of what is right and wrong of liking something or sharing something, or if you see someone uh, not uh, speaking too politely about their employer, what do you do? Again, this is another ethical consideration of computing to be thinking about. And there's a lot more. Um, I've just listed four bullet points on there, but I'm sure there's loads of other research and uh, other examples you can find online. So here we are as normal. We've got another exam question. This one's two marks. Feel free to pause and give this video a go. And now let's have a look at an answer for this question. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in a future CS Watch. Bye bye.